Hey guys, it's Joel at MetaGeek. You've probably heard the rule that you should only use channels 1, 6, and 11. Why is that exactly? The first part of the problem is the way that channels are laid out in the 2.4 GHz band. Each channel is 20 MHz wide, but the center of each channel is where they're marked, and it's only separated by 5 MHz. So if you look at channel 1 and you look at channel 2, you can see that they overlap by about 75%. The end result is that the only three channels that don't overlap are channels 1, 6, and 11. And this isn't true for every part of the world. In some places, like Europe, you can use channels 1, 5, 9, and 13 as a non-overlapping channel scheme, but it isn't used very often. The second part of the problem is the way that Wi-Fi interference works. There's two types of interference. Co-channel interference occurs when you've got multiple clients and multiple access points that are on the same channel. And Wi-Fi is pretty good at getting along with other Wi-Fi devices, so they politely take turns talking. But when networks partially overlap, like for example, this network that's on channel five, this network that's on channel six, and the network that's on channel seven, instead of politely taking turns, those networks are just going to yell and scream over each other, which slows everything down. The five gigahertz band doesn't have the same problem. Each channel is still 20 megahertz wide, but they're far enough apart that they don't partially overlap with each other. So we have 24 non-overlapping channels to work with. In the 2.4 gigahertz band, you might also see a 40 megahertz wide channel. It's basically an extra wide channel that allows us to move more traffic, kind of like a four lane highway versus a two lane highway. But the problem is, is that there just isn't enough room in the 2.4 gigahertz band to support a 40 megahertz channel. In the five gigahertz band, 40 megahertz channels work great. And there's even 80 megahertz channels available with new 802.11 AC devices. So always be sure to use a 20 megahertz wide channel in the 2.4 gigahertz band and be sure to always use channels 1, 6, and 11, even if that means sharing a channel with some of your neighbors. Your network will work much better if it can politely take turns talking instead of yelling over all the other networks around you. If you like this video and if you wanna learn more, be sure to check out our YouTube channel and also check out our knowledge base at support.metageek.com.